Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Princeton Academy of Art. So we are an art school uh, and we teach academic drawing and painting. And uh, also at the same time, we really want to serve as a gateway uh, to our students for knowledge. So we expand our interests. Our students are uh, participating in um, different uh, type of arts. And also that uh, we have these fabulous lectures that we host once in a while. And we are very grateful to have um, the teacher, uh, I have to, it's very hard it's, for me to pronounce. But Nate, <laughs> so uh, now Mary will um, introduce our uh, lecturer. So first and foremost, um, thank you everyone. I'd like to thank Princeton Academy of the Art for hosting this event. It is my sincere honor and pleasure to be welcoming Temple Wintershake. Um, who is the founder and spiritual director of Zakden, which is a nonprofit religious Buddhist organization. Rinpoche is the author of several books, such as A Happier Life, The Great Middle Way, amongst many others. He has studied under the tutelage of over 25 masters of Tibetan Buddhism, and due to his non sectarian approach, he has earned himself the title of Rebane Master, which is an unbiased master. The core of his teachings are the recognition that there is great value in diversity of all spiritual traditions found in the world. He focuses on the Jomang Shambhala tradition with a key specialty in the college chapter. Without further ado, I'd like to welcome Kenzo Mertensha. Thank you, Rinpoche. Thank you, Rinpoche. Yeah, good evening, everybody. Thank you so much uh, to organize this with Austin. Uh, I'm not an artist. Uh, also, Tibetan don't have much art uh, other than uh, Buddhism, uh, deeper uh, meanings. Uh, other than that, they don't have much arts. They focus on arts that and also Tibetan the uh, arts more focus the religious uh, different meaning uh, rather than uh, expressing uh, or passion to express some their emotions and uh, some thoughts they're not like that they are just uh, uh, certain uh, for everybody who cannot change uh, uh, the standing meaning, uh, different meaning, so like that. So I'm not saying there is zero uh, passion and expression. People don't have that feeling. Uh, I'm not saying that, but the primary reason is always uh, uh, the, the correct, the long tradition of the deeper meaning of the Buddhism. <laughs> Uh, so the colors, the shapes, and everything, so like that. So, so even I'm not artist, still I the majority of the aspects of the arts, what is the meaning? Uh, so that's we talking today, okay? <laughs> so let's say uh, mandala. So this is called mandala. The, is making something. This one is called uh, mandala. So mandala is Sanskrit word, and uh, the meaning is a uh, uh, simple meaning and uh, complex meaning. The simple meaning is uh, like a circle, uh, something contained inside. That's simple meaning. Uh, the complex meaning is uh, representing the universe, uh, the mundane universe, and also the enlightened universe. So. It's a <laughs> big meaning. So uh, the the mandala can have a, a two art, a two D or three D. Uh, so the most simple one is drawing, and the second complex is uh, with sun, uh, many sun colors of sun drawing. 
So this one is a, this one is a paint. This one is a paint, but it's a very still very uh, six hundred thirty-six deities painted inside. This is too small; we can't see. Uh, but the big version is like a huge on the wall. Uh, so thirty-six uh, six hundred thirty-six deities there pin inside. Deities means that, uh, the simple meaning. Uh, gods or I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, yeah, this uh, is a deep spiritual spirit, you know. So uh, the second one is the sand mandala. It's, uh, it takes a very long time to do it. Uh, also many skills they need to do it. Not everybody can do it. So this one is the more uh, 3D. So 3D. Uh, and so uh, in the uh, in in. Uh, in general, people don't know the 3G much, but it's a uh, real meaning is the 3G. Mm, it's just like building. Uh, so, uh, but the building is outside, it's just like one building, but inside here, uh, the Kalachara Mandala, this one is a, have three uh, layers of uh, building. Uh, so they call body, speech, mind, mandalas. There's three layers. Um, okay, so then this one, the different mandalas, okay, the different mandalas uh, have diff for different deities. So uh, uh, for the practice different uh, the deities, you know. Uh, so uh, one is the Ashobia. Uh, so Ashobia is something you need to purify. Uh, in, in, in English, you call, uh, in the Christian sense, you can sin, you call sin. And Buddhists call a uh, negative karma. So this sense you can purify. And the other one is 21 Dara, is like a more female uh, uh, enlightened one. Mm, is, um, for many, many multiple purposes. Uh, uh, women do multiple jobs, similar to the, the, the Dara deities have multiple purpose, uh, multiple <coughs> activities they can help. And then this, uh, the, the other one is Wajakalaya. Uh, uh, something look is very wrathful and scary. Mm, and if the, you saw the real deity, <clears throat> but there's in much more deeper meanings. So then this one is uh, Amitayu. So Amitayu is a, a more long life for the long life deity. So that all of them uh, is a sacred meaning and uh, all of them, uh, uh, spiritual purpose, all of them. So it's basically map of the enlightenment, uh, all the mandalas. And one way you can explain, just say, mandala means map of enlightenment. Okay. So then, uh, when I said that the first I show you the mandala is Kalachakra mandala. So now it's what is the Kalachakra? So Kalachakra is one of the tantra. The, the most the high highest uh, tantra. So so what does the tantra mean? Uh, tantra uh, also have a, a kind of misconception in uh, many places. So what is the real meaning is the tantra means? Is uh, tantra means is the most high level of practice, which means uh, everything turns uh, able to turn the path. Uh, uh, it's it's not like uh, we struggling. Uh, you know, um, play some remote, uh, our own existence, you know, such as uh, uh, our emotions, all of them is a problem. It's not like that. Instead, all our emotions, everything turns on the path. Uh, that kind of uh, path is the most high level of uh, spiritual path called Tantra. So the Kalachara Tantra means uh, Tantra have many types, but the, the most the high one is Kala Chakra. So Kala means uh, uh, Kala means uh, uh, time, and then uh, Chakra means will, uh, will of time. So will of time means everything, everything existence is if you make two categories becomes the will and the time. So uh, usually in the uh, scientists people say time and space. You know the everything. <laughs> so it's similarly, so time and will is uh, everything 
the main uh, inside condent inside <coughs> so the kalachara you can say also external kalachara i see which means all our universe uh, external universe and the internal kalachara is uh, something in our, uh, within ourselves our body mind and our emotion everything is uh, related and then enlightened kalachara is this this uh, this male and female deities together union together is the uh, uh, free from unbalanced free from unbalanced the, the most balanced uh, union uh, uh, peace and harmony uh, is represented by this uh, uh, this two date union together so the details i can explain more why i have too many hands and arms or this is uh, uh, i got to talk uh, next okay this one is the uh, kalachara mandala so the mandala we talked about that in the beginning so here is body mandala speech mandala uh, universe mandala which means this different part different upon this is the 3d remember 3d the most uh, the central one is called bliss uh, mandala and uh, the the uh, then the second one is the uh, man mandala and the speech mandala the all side bigger is the uh, the body mandala and then uh okay so universal mandala which means the, the whole universe uh, represented the, the the big part okay So and then Kalachara uh, Vajrabadi in uh, Kalachara Vajrabadi man, Mandala. Uh, the building, the pillars, walls. Yeah, so uh, each building and each wall and each uh, pillow uh, are representing like our uh, body structure. Okay. Uh, every detail we don't go tonight, that's an incredible detail. <laughs> this need a huge book but uh, uh, so uh, everything is our bones and flesh uh, or this uh, represented because this is an enlightened version and, and uh, uh, enlightened version means that it doesn't mean where when you are enlightened you see only like this nothing else not like that but this is like a symbol symbol of enlightenment enlightened universe so then our body everything we have some uh, an equivalent of that that's why we anybody can, can be enlightened you know <laughs> yeah. mm, okay so the kalachara vajra bhati mandala uh the multi colors was okay uh elements of the earth water uh, yeah so uh, there's a far uh, four primary, uh, primary colors you know the white a yellow uh, a blue and uh, the green and uh, no green sorry the, mm, uh, the, yeah the, the white uh, red white black red uh, yellow this uh, uh, this representing like four uh, four elements so everything everything made four elements so then this, this four colors also uh, representing the four elements uh, so the four elements you know that's the uh, uh, what <laughs> uh, soil distance yeah fire and uh, so uh, pathway of enlightenment yeah so the mandala <coughs> okay he said uh, Buddha Dharma Sangha uh, together we call three jewels so that Buddhist language so uh buddha means uh, buddha means um, also you can understand a uh, more simple way and a uh, more complex way it's simple way is the, the history for buddha shakyamuni he born at india and then beneath, blah blah so that one you know so <laughs> uh, just like jesus you know like uh, but then it's complex way then it, the buddha is within everybody you know the the, old, uh, the absolute Buddha is within everybody, so that's why everybody mm, can be enlightened. So that's why 
the difference is that uh, the Christianity and Buddhist, uh, the Christian way, you never become a god, right? So uh, the Buddhi, Buddhism way, anybody can be enlightened because why? Uh, the uh, absolute Buddha within yourself, you know, is you just need to unveil uh, your own true nature. So uh, that's why then Buddha have many, many versions, you know, many different versions uh, appears uh, depending uh, uh, for who, you know, uh, because everybody has a limitation and Buddha appears uh, in that level, level of limitation and help for sensibilities. So that's Buddha. So Dharma means uh, the Buddha, uh, the way of the teaching, uh, or that's called Dharma. Uh, so Dharma is uh, faultless, uh, yeah, so, and the Sangha means uh, who, who uh, hold this value is uh, properly, uh, you know, uh, sufficiently, uh, and those we call Sangha, okay? So it's symbol. Uh, okay, uh, 12, 10 links, okay. So this one uh, is a, uh, this is a little bit complicated. So I have to tell you, uh, this means how we originate and how we go a circle, you know, uh, continue, continue circle. Uh, uh, first ignorance. Uh, so then from the ignorance, we don't know uh, what our action, we don't know what is the cause, cause our action, you know, of course the obvious level we know the what the consequence matter. The subtle level we don't know the consequence, but then you, um, anyway, they form and the form. Uh, when forming is through the mind uh, consciousness, because body is just temporary, but the mind is more uh, continuous, you know. So that's why uh, whatever we done, we are ne never uh, never escaped the uh, the result because <laughs> because it's our own action, our own. Uh, planted in, in our own uh, mind, so that's why. Uh, so consciousness. The name and the form means, uh, you know, when we are uh, first to be born, uh, and, and uh, we don't have name, nothing, and then name and form uh, formed in the womb, and then uh, then come back. Uh, then six six senses, uh, you know, six senses uh, develop. And then you the success develop. Then you have the contact with the subject object, and then you have a, a sensation and a feeling all those kinds of things. Then you do all the attachment and craving, and and then uh, you are clinging and grasping. Uh, so then becoming meant then the next of you you project uh, become you. Uh, so then, then that's why we first it's a continue continue your own work is not not somebody uh, making you uh, it's your own work you know uh, so that's why rebirth then as long as you have rebirth then is aging and death is inevitable and then after death then uh, they continue cycle continue cycle uh, so that's what we're talking about so why they told tell this because this for for get west. Is that for inevitable or we can do something about, you know? This means we have no freedom, right? No freedom <laughs> because we don't know our action while we're doing exactly the, the consequences, the subtle level. So, and then, but there is a way, there is a way, uh, the, there is a way enlightenment uh, stopping this uh, mundane uh, continuism. And then there's enlightenment way. So this gateway is shows those, okay? And then what I show is the, the four noble truth, four noble truth, uh, or uh, no, eight, eight for part, noble eight for part. So never a noble eight for part, is you know, right, right understanding, right thoughts, right speech, all this right action, written in the right, then, then this is the fundamental Buddhism. Most fundamental Buddhism, I uh, talk about this uh, at four part. And then, if you go details, of course, then <laughs> much more uh, debate <laughs> and many things. But uh, the fundamental part is this. 
So uh, uh, you first, you you have to understand uh, for 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 no bit truth, for no bit truth. Uh, uh, maybe next one. Ah, uh, for no bit truth, you understand that, uh, suffering, uh, the causes of suffering, uh, the cessation of suffering, part, the path, which means. Uh, when we say suffering means uh, uh, as, 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 as soon as we are born and as soon as in, we are associated in this uh, mundane world, uh, we, we have to accept is suffering nature. So some people think uh, that is uh, very pessimistic. Uh, the glass is half full, not uh, empty, uh, but uh, it's not saying uh, you are all the time a uh, guarantee pain and suffering. Not saying that, but it's a, it's saying meaning is a, you never escaped the potential of suffering always there. You know that's why it's kind of meaningless uh, stay in a normal life. So that's why mm, then how you prevent this? You have to find the causes, the causes of suffering where they come from. You know how we create it, you know, and then, uh, then if you find this, then then you realize there is cessation. There you can stop that, you know, and there's path. So that that based on that, uh, based on that, then you the edge for, for no truth. So you practice, then uh, then you can uh, uh, your enlightenment. Your enlightenment means your own awakening or your uh, own freedom, you know, like. So means that uh, uh, who, whoever and not, not enlightened means no freedom, no freedom. You know, we have you know we have we write many things, uh, we fight many things. Oh, individual freedom, blah blah blah. But all of them just temporary, very limited uh, freedom. We we seeking for you know we are fighting for a small, uh, very tiny portion of freedom. But the fundamental freedom is enlightenment. You know. Uh, so that's <clears throat> so three realms. So uh, you know, one way uh, this uh, this mandala have uh, big three portions. Big three portions. You can say one way is body switch mind, but the other way you can say uh, uh, three realms. Three realms means uh, uh, desire realm, form realm, formless realm. So we are desire realm. Okay, uh, we live everything with desire, you know. So that's uh, I want this, I want this, uh, I wish this, this. We, <laughs> so we are living in desire realm, and then form realm, and uh, they have a form, but it's so subtle, it's uh, not, uh, for us not tangible. Uh, there's certain beings we can't see it, in, uh, invisible for us, and formless means even more, uh, uh, don't even form. Uh, there's only consciousness, but not form. So this. All is uh, just temporary, but uh, uh, they all have no freedom. <laughs> so, so that's why they're showing uh, the possibility of the path through the map. Uh, all of them temporary problem. Uh, you can solve the problem if you want. So that is showing. Okay. So the six colors of all is uh, six perfections. So if you take the path, then you can take <coughs> six perfection path. Uh, uh, that is uh, uh, generosity, uh, yeah, ethical discipline, uh, and the and the patience, uh, perseverance, wisdom, uh, meditative concentration. All of them <clears throat> is uh, when you perfect in distance, then you uh, you reach enlightenment. Uh, very how do you say? Uh, Simultly. Uh, until we are not perfect in this sense, we just try. But always trying, it means always uh, progress. So even if you fail, it doesn't matter how many times you fail. Uh, if you try, uh, you are you are progressing. So this is something we need to do. Uh, because usually we think all problems we try to solve from the, uh, ex externally. Uh, but it's the, when, you, when we focus this and if we build a Inner strength through the, these uh, six perfections, there is no no problem outside. You know, uh, we can cope much easier. So anything like that.
Okay, so yes, this so for instance, this Kalachara, if you go details, the uh, representing, you know, the coalition of the, our uh, stars and planets and everything, and then the time, year, you know, uh, you know, we know that the, the relationship, the time and year, yeah, everything with planets and stuff. So this, all of them are representation of uh, coalition on the, de uh, in the, the deities and the mandala. So uh, showing this, so here, so this circle, years, months, everything, uh, if we go details uh, specifically, or this month is this deity, this day is this deity, you know? So we have that. Okay, circle of time. Uh, so we should have, uh, before we saw that Kalachara uh, have deity, you remember the two union deity together? The yellow one called the female form for Vishwamata, and then the other one for the, the Kalachara. Uh, consort means the, uh, the, you know, for instance, if we have a day and night, the whole year we have a day and night. So there's one, you, uh, you, you can relate it with that. You know, one is the like day, one is the, uh, there's no such thing without day, uh, night, night, like this. Uh, all this is, and also the month, we have uh, month up until the 15 days, go up uh, the month, then go down all distance. <laughs> they always inevitable together in union, so representing that. Okay, so then if we go much more detail, then we have, you know, like this uh, 600, uh, uh, 360 days, this, 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 this all mandala, this uh, dot, there's uh, many different deities, you know, uh, mostly goddesses to do. Uh, the middle, in the middle you have uh, the goddess, uh, and uh, then the, uh, the others around. So basically then uh, the whole year, uh, three, uh, uh, 360 days, uh, each one you have for this deity, this name, this mantra, <laughs> and and our body or this chakra, this channel or this this name, everything there. Okay, so uh, so the enlightened form is deity. So when you practice in this, you impact in in your body, and also you impact in on the uh, you contributing the benefits on the universe. For okay, so this is uh, uh, this uh, mandala. If you look at the four uh, four different paths. Also, according to enlightenment, you know, before we talking about uh, uh, some uh, the mundane life, but here we talking about uh, enlightened path. Uh, the the your. Uh, waking state or sleeping state, and then your uh, deep sleep, uh, dream state and deep sleeping state, and then uh, they call a blissful state, which means uh, uh, you know whatever you make, you, whenever you you have no thought, everything incredible feeling or anything happens sometimes uh, through this uh, spiritual practice or anything. That's different moment. Uh, representing this moment, because when uh, when you when you want enlightenment, you have to know uh, difference. This different state is how to use a different state. How you take advantage of waking state. How you take advantage of the dream state. How to uh, take advantage of deep state, state. You know all these things. You know so that's what representing. Yeah. So this, this we're talking about uh, uh, until now, we just look at the mandala, but we didn't look at the, the body. So the body here, uh, if we focus the channel and the human body, uh, uh, usually we call, the channels, we have uh, three channels usually, everybody have cha three channels. The three channels is uh, we're talking about subtle, subtle level. It's not like something visible, and you can uh, cut 
uh, you can operation, not like that. It's something uh, subtle. It's subtle three channels, uh, one is the Rasa, uh, one is the Lada, and the middle is the um, Awadipi. So usually we have winds and everything gone, the right side, left side, not much about inside uh, the middle. So that's why it's a life and balance. Uh, <coughs> emotions, everything and balance because of that. But if we go uh, uh, through the practice, if you uh, uh, direct it into the central channel, that means uh, enlightened part, you know, central channel is enlightened part. So the simple way is explained as balanced everything, uh, homa, homa, uh, harmonize everything, balanced everything. So go to, go to everything, it goes smoothly. So like that. So, uh, okay. So the four, uh, uh, the, the different six, six different uh, parts of the body, we have six chakras. Uh, so on the four, four chakras on the crown. So uh, that's the, uh, well, the, yeah, crown chakra. So, so this is the normal way we can say four elements. Uh, the other way, so uh, yeah, and four, four enlightened uh, parts uh, of the So, um, and then the four, the eight, 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 eight channels and the, the, the heart channel. So eight, eight, eight uh, channels and the heart channel, uh, you know, eight, four parts, remember? Uh, represented like this, and then uh, also um, there's called uh, like um, pure realm or Shambhala. I talked to later a little bit. The Shambhala also have eight, uh, eight regions. So this uh, also uh, represented that as well. Uh, then 16, uh, 2016 channel. Okay. Uh, the, this uh, on the forehead you have 16 channels. So the 16 channels uh, we have in the, in the mandala you have uh, the 16 body uh, uh, represented. Four body sarvas and eight rat for. Uh, the, the distance uh, is uh, should be it should be oh, 32 right ten of 32 that's in the throat right so uh, this uh, uh, Nepal, Nepal Chara, you have a total is uh, 72, I think 72, uh, uh, eight yoginis and the uh, meter, and then they have 28 each one. No, okay. uh, yeah, a total uh, 70, 70, uh, 72 yoginis uh, on the, uh, the <laughs> Nepal Chara. Okay, so the Kala Chakra we talked about before. The Kala Chakra means, uh, Kala means time, Chakra means will, and then the yellow one is called Vishwamata. Uh, you can call together uh, uh, this Ras, uh, wh why these two deities come? Because there's uh, two channels, uh, everybody have uh, two channels, normal, normal Monday life, uh, unbalanced Monday life. We are not perfect in all this. So when you are perfected and purified completely, and then the central channel, then uh, represented these two deities. This, so uh, they have uh, Kala Chakra have 20, 24 arms. So that, that's also uh, you know the, we have twenty four hours you know our day and night. Uh, you're representing that, and uh, there's uh, four heads. Four heads that's uh, representing. Um, the four major balls, four major balls, which means uh, uh, 
the love of sentient beings and care of sentient beings and uh, the equanimity and the rejoicing is this. Yeah, so yeah, there's many, many other things, but the most important thing is <coughs> it's, you know, like uh, have a fire and then uh, uh, kind of many implements and then one way is a little bit scary uh, and, uh, and one way is a uh, uh, more uh, passion and peaceful and the other way is like more a little bit uh, scary and wrathful so this means uh, uh, for normal normal mundane this is kind of contradictory and no possible and same chance uh, but this is a, a limitless power shows uh, everything at the same time how much it can be harmonized so that means everything the great perfection of the uh, uh, perfection you know the, the the absolute perfection yeah there are six uh, yeah uh, six uh, male and female body servers so the six male and female body servers uh, that uh, are union together. Uh, body sarva means uh, not fully enlightened, but uh, almost uh, fully enlightened, uh, and they kill sentient beings or sentient beings uh, more than oneself. You know, uh, they do only for sentient beings like that. So, uh, in the more simple uh, sutra and pathway, they are not like union, not like this. Uh, no many arms. It's more simple form. Here is more complicated form because it's much more deeper meaning. <laughs> so that's why uh, it's even look at this a little bit complicated form. Yeah. Yeah. So six forms are consciousness. You know the eye. Uh, Eyes consciousness, uh, air consciousness, you know, all the smell, uh, nose, this consciousness, the taxation, all this consciousness, uh, uh, when you are blue fire, uh, uh, consciousness, uh, representation, uh, this purity of this consciousness is this, uh, um, yeah, this uh, Buddha. Yeah, the other one. Okay. So here is the 630, no, uh, 360 days before I talk about the bodies, it looks like this. It looks like this. the middle is like that, and then uh, animal underneath, and then you have this uh, different retinues. So in this way, it's uh, like this one, probably one month. So they uh, travel like that. So that's the whole year of the representation. So we're talking about the year, uh, we're talking about uh, the, the time between this uh, uh, planets and uh, stars and the action and what humans calculate. <laughs> we're talking about that, but also representing these uh, real stars and the, all of them. Uh, physical, some, are, some of them physical, some of them uh, uh, not physical, in, uh, uh, not, uh, not visible, some of them invisible. So yeah, this is all we talked about. Uh, this all, everything is also we have the, in our uh, our body. We have these channels, uh, these uh, energy channels in our body. Each one of these. So when you practice this yoga, alkalajara, tantra, then you know what to do. This you know uh, all of them. Uh, what is uh, you focusing and representing? Yeah. So this one is the direct event of the left. Uh, yeah, so these uh, legs, uh, uh, one is bent, one is uh, uh, straight. Also, uh, which channel uh, you are, uh, how to say, uh, directing the central channel, uh, representing that. Uh, so uh, this is like a more for get gateway uh, uh, So. This, some of them is uh, the, all this, um, because the Sutrayana uh, uh, comes the Sutrayana, which means uh, the lower Buddhist, uh, Buddhism, then you have 
you see or mostly the larger ones, the form, uh, the middle form. But in here, and Kalachara uh, Chatra, I have a lot, a lot of female forms. Not only the female form, but the female is the more principal deity, and then the male is the consort, uh, you know, like that. So I think one of them is this one. Okay, what's next? Okay, so perfect balance, peace and harmony. So the whole purpose, what the, the whole purpose we uh, the knowing the knowledge of the uh, the pinching meaning, the art art meaning, and the text, the art, and then the universe astrology, uh, astro uh, astronomy, and then this uh, uh, rituals and uh, uh, everything uh, come together. What the purpose is? How we harmonize everything, peace and harmony uh, in every individual and our family, uh, surround people and community, and eventually the whole universe, uh, whole our world, uh, our whole humanity. How we uh, do the uh, 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 perfect peace and harmony world. That's the, the ultimate purpose, you know. So, uh, so that's why it's, uh, uh, it's very important to know in distance, uh, practice uh, uh, individually. So if you individually, you practice, uh, uh, you make balance your life, uh, more, much more uh, constructive life, and then you impact uh, surround of you, and then be, become a good example of yourself, and then you can uh, impact the, the community, then a community impact another other community, so then uh, you can uh, impact the, the whole world. So that's why um, I have that uh, how do you say. Uh, vision of the, the whole world is going to become a perfect peace and harmony, golden age. So why I had that? Because <clears throat> this theory, uh, all this theory represent uh, the deeper meanings together. And then the prophesies, uh, the Buddha prophesies, uh, uh, we are we eventually we are become much better world rather than uh, worse, you know? So it's, it's really, really nice to be uh, optimistic to think that way rather than pessimistic. <laughs> and, uh, so uh, <clears throat> I think uh, everybody, I believe every uh, every individual have uh, the potential uh, to um, be uh, to become perfect, you know. And then uh, if, uh, if even you impact only two people, that's, that's a lot. And then two people can impact four people, you know, like uh, uh, at the minimum. So. Like that way, then it, uh, the world is uh, impact very fast. So impact very fast, and then uh, how do you say? So that the whole world uh, become, you know, uh, uh, usually people think, oh, it's very difficult to impact the whole world, but uh, because we we never tried, we never tried before. Uh, we tried a limited way and treating and the symptoms like that way, uh, but we never know uh, the, the, the perfect way, uh, the treating the, the uh, uh, root of the illness. If we understand the root of illness, uh, genuine love and compassion, uh, if we experience and then we can transform other people. And then it's very, could, could be very, very, very fast because because nobody refuses uh, uh, love and the peace and the harmony, right? Uh, but the only thing people didn't know how to do it, you know. So, so that that's why uh, this Kalachakra uh, Tantra is something very uh, exceptional. Uh, it's not every branch of Buddhism also don't talk this much details. Uh, I mean, they talk about uh, peace and harmony, but 
don't have this uh, huge, uh, um, how do you say, uh, vision and huge uh, prophesize the perfect uh, golden age. So, uh, so uh, this is I talk about. It. That's why Zordan, uh, my uh, organization called Zordan. Zordan means the uh, golden age. So, uh, perfect peace and honor. So that's the uh, yeah today talk. <laughs> So, I, excuse me, I need to go to toilet. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know where to toilet? So, uh, this, uh, this people, uh, Mary and the, you know, the, uh, uh, Chloe is knowledgeable. Uh, you can talk a little bit, I'll come back. <laughs> Um, so, with the mandalas and the um, images of both genders, how do how does the mandala connect to the youth and the both genders? And is the purpose of the mandala is to observe it in meditation and come to the ultimate goal where both genders become a union? Or um, well, firstly. I think in the West, we have this idea that you just sit and look at the mandala and meditate on it. And that's not exactly the way that it happens in Tibetan Buddhism. Okay. Uh, a lot of the time, if you were to meditate on the mandala, you would be, uh, there's different, depending on where you are in the practice, there's different ways to meditate on the mandala. But what you're trying to do in, in a, a generation practice where you're familiarizing yourself with it is your visualizing it, imagining it in your mind. So in all the details possible, which sounds very difficult because when you first start to do it, you can barely imagine like a blue dot or something like this. And then to try to build that imagination and visualization up and to see uh, the full mandala. Another way of meditating on the mandala would actually be walking around in your real life and having the awareness that we are this is like the cosmic mandala. So it's maintaining awareness. It's not necessarily um, the way we think of it in the West of like staring at a, a mandala. Now the two, so right here in the very center, there's like, you can't see, but right there is the, the very beautiful of the mandala. And that is the central deity of the mandala. Um, so all the mandalas have a deity and the central deity, the main uh, deity that the mandala is about is always the center and in this case it's Kala Chakra which is the one with all the arms like um, this is a this is called the Nate Kala Chakra so that's like um, a simpler form of it that if we're trying to visualize it and we're going to visualize all 24 arms this is another option um, but the 24 arms one that looks like a male and a female is in the very center and in ultimate nature, we're beyond the concept of feminine and masculine. So you can think of it as like, some people might think of it as like uniting the feminine and masculine, but it's really going beyond all concepts of uh, female and male. They're just used as, they're used as various symbols to help us understand like um, the qualities. They might have like quality is attached to to them that we can use but it's not it's, it's not like um, this is also one thing that's actually very interesting is people get kind of stuck uh, and it's actually a challenge for everybody I think when you're trying to visualize yourself as the, as like as like the deity um, everyone you're trying to visualize both deities in union and your nature is both of those and a challenge that many people encounter is they uh, relate to like one of the, the genders more than the other. So they can more easily visualize themselves as that gender holding that like the other gender, but the idea of visualizing yourself as the totality of both becomes difficult, but that's really, um, they're representing our complete enlightened nature. that's beyond the division. And say that's what you would find in the center of the mandala? Yes. Okay. So it's, it's kind of like, um, yeah, it's our, it's our, eternal ultimate truth and in, in, in now in some forms of Tibetan Buddhism they might not use the word eternal but in the Janong lineage of Kala Chakra they actually use the word it's like a timeless it's our beyond time space ultimate truth of our true nature of who we are so 
and different religions do because everybody's calling it something <laughs> what our ultimate food of nature but that's we're trying to experience that which is our own truth don't have any other yeah. yes, i heard that the general tradition talk of nine types of homes is that why that is my son um i think that's an that's that goes back to um i don't know if the so actually i think they can actually both represent the two truths that's like another aspect and i um can't remember if it's their legs or their bodies that represent the two truths to be honest but um the two truth concept in buddhism is that um there is the relative truth which is really easy for us to understand so that's like you know yesterday came before today and then there's going to be tomorrow and then uh, there is the ultimate truth, uh, which is beyond um, all limitations. And so uh, it's, you can't ignore the relative truth, but the, it, like there's, there are, you, the Buddhists re recognize both truths. So ultimately you could say uh, our true nature is beyond all the concepts of time and space. It's like more than that, because it can be almost like, uh, all qualities of reality but at the same time we have to recognize the two truths so we still have to recognize like there was yesterday there's today and there'll be tomorrow otherwise we're crazy so it's like there's the shintong here right yeah. in the Jonang tradition uh, uh, remember today's like the shintong expert so he's yeah. back it's just okay. the time so <laughs> 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 i was wondering about the shintong view because there from what i understand compared to the other Mugyamata views that mandalas and mantras are relative constructs, but in the Shentan, it's believed that they are absolute truth. And I was talking <coughs> before about yeah. the eternal, because I heard that in the Jianang tradition, all the time happens at once. So basically, it's like pure perception. And do you see the same Kalachakra mandala all the time, but also kind of like, oh, yes, these Okay, so j'entends ma point de vue. J'entends même that I, I have to explain everybody. It means uh, other emptiness. And after means uh, uh, self empty. Okay, empty itself. Uh, j'entends means empty, but empty of other, not itself. Okay, so j'entends ma point de vue. The others around Tomba is the heart of emptiness, not understanding the whole thing. If you not understand the whole thing, then you are uh, not matched to the, the, the highest standard view. You are uh, out of this. So also you are not a match, uh, you only match with the uh, third Dharma will, Buddha taught, but uh, the uh, second Dharma will, you are match, but uh, not match to the the third dharma way. so that, that is from my point of view okay so i explain you very uh, simple way so when we say uh, buddhism say emptiness means all the appearances everything is illusion not uh, real essence so it's uh, empty of what uh, what's uh, appear it's not real uh, basically it's not real, it's empty nature, okay? Empty means absent, it's absent. So when saying this, then Jan Tongba saying, yes, all this mandate is illusion, but enlightenment cannot be same empty nature. If it does, then is the both is equally essenceless. Then, then, then is, there is no, no Buddha, no, uh, no, no absolute Buddha, no absolute uh, Nirvana. There is no absolute uh, enlightenment. Nothing. So that's why it's problem. And also not matching truth, uh, the 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 Tantras. Because when Tantra is talking about these deities, these deities, these uh, enlightened beings, they're talking about the ultimate truth, not relative truth. Okay the absolute truth. So the absolute truth, you have to have a deity, you have to have a mountain, you have to have an absolute Buddha. The Buddha, historical Buddha died, passed away in 80 years old. That one is a relative Buddha. 
is not uh, uh, absolute Buddha. But the absolute Buddha have to be exist otherwise. So that, that's why we call it this absolute truth is not empty itself. It is stereotypical empty because empty of other, because other the illusion is not exist. Empty of illusion, you can say empty of problem, empty of suffering, uh, nature, everything, but cannot be empty itself, empty enlightenment, you cannot do that. So that, that's the example of it. <laughs> Simple way. But the problem you not if you not understand the gentle, you not matching your view, not matching the Buddha third Dharma will, and not matching to the old Tantra. But the, if everybody believes the true truth, and everybody uh, um, believes the Tantra is the most high, uh, the highest, then you contradict yourself. Is that too much for you people? <laughs> <laughs> huh? uh, how does that relate to time? Obviously, if you have the clear perception of the mandala, do you only see absolute time? Well, basically, can you see in the future if you uh, understand the Kama Chakra or just the relative truth? The mandala is the absolute truth appearance, appearance of absolute truth, not, uh, not the appearance of samsara. But is it true that the, in the Jainan tradition, time all happens at once, that there is a past uh -huh. future? Uh, does, that mean, does that mean if time happens <coughs> all at once, or if there's still like the relative? Oh, like, the know? ultimate truth? Well, yeah, yeah but also in the Jainan tradition, because I read somewhere just that. You have to, you always have to reach to the level you're talking about, you know, relative truth or ultimate truth. Most people's misunderstanding, they mix together. They forget one of them and they mix together and then forget. Then they say, oh, okay, I can kill, no problem, it's empty. Huh? I can steal it, no problem, it's empty. It's illusion, no problem. <laughs> that meant they forgot uh, to do. Because in, in the relative level, it matters of, matters of a relative truth level. Even the illusion is a, we, we're talking about illusion compared to absolute truth is illusion, but it's you not compare uh, the absolute truth just in the relative truth is not illusion. It's make differences. We eat, drink, sleep, no sleep. Everything make differences. Stealing, no stealing. Everything make differences. Ethical, unethical, everything make differences. So the most of the time people mix together. That's the problem. Huh? So when you're talking about time, if you're talking about absolute level, time, absolute time, past, present, future can be any time, any time. Past, past, present, future, not contradiction. But if you're relative to, we're talking about past, present, future, totally different. <laughs> that's, all, that's all like that. Can be accessed. It can be, and if you like, if you're a visual seeker, um, building or something, you go to different rooms. Is that like you're accessing the mandala in your dream? Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah.
uh, if you have a mandala, you thought about a lot, and it can be uh, your dream. And even you didn't thought about this time, but maybe in the past, if, if you had an, an, another lifetime, if you have a lot of, uh, then possibility this time, dream come no reason, right? Looks like no, no reason come, but there's a reason because in the past, okay? So also sometimes there, there is come in the future. So possibly at this time is a dream because maybe in the future you have something to do with a lot. <coughs> <coughs> but personally, if you are uh, thought of a lot of this uh, mandala, then it can be in the dream. You cannot say they're exactly the same, but uh, they are similar. I was wondering, you spoke of a, 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 golden, age, uh, a golden age where everybody could live in harmony. Um, you mentioned, is that a goal of Buddhism in general that all Buddhists believe that there could be a golden age? Or is the golden age an outcome that everyone trying to achieve? No, it's not. Or every part of Buddhism I talk about this, no, it's not common sense. Every tradition of Buddhism, not this, but only the, the highest level of the Buddhist, uh, Buddhism, Kalachana Tantra, talk about this and prophesy this. And yeah, so they have uh, this prophesy. So I, I think that's the most uh, important part, uh, something we need also. <laughs> Yeah. How do you experience the mandala in your waking state? Waking state? Mm -hmm. Waking state, you just uh, 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 you study uh, intellectually. You can study intellectually. You read texts and you become a formalization. You can meditate on uh, this, you know, meditate on means. Uh, Visualize it, meditation, you can do like that way. So that is not the real mandala. That's the real normal, real mandala, but uh, I mean, the, not the absolute mandala. Uh, the, you're doing only representation of mandala. But what does help is uh, uh, leading to the uh, experience in the real mandala uh, in one day. Yeah. <laughs> When did the Kamachakra Tantra first come to the West? Yeah. I assume first some, well, because now that Dalai Lama gives some problems for the Kamachakra very often, but before it was very rare, I was wondering when the first Lama was given a problem to your teachers from there. I don't know who's the first time I, I think. Oh, yeah, the first one. Did he not last uh, who's the first was time? in the 20th century? Oh, yeah. Century? But but doesn't matter who gives the Galatara empowerment, nobody, nobody lead in you practice. Only give the ceremony and then go. Right? Who give uh, practice? Nobody. Why? Do you know why nobody? Because Galatara Tantra, uh, uh, like the 10th uh, century, come to uh, uh, Tibet or 11th century probably uh, come to Tibet and that time many many people practice and then then there are many other other teachers and then the people lost focus they lost focus and then only one journal tradition kept kept practicing 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 but the others lost focus so that Dalai Lama Gelpa the Gelpas Gelpas, for instance, they know very well rituals. They memorize even the rituals, huge rituals. They memorize, don't have to even look at the text, some monasteries. And, but practicing, real practice, the ritual, ritual, the real practice, they lost. Huh? So the others, so that means people have rituals, ceremonies, and some intellectual uh, text commentaries, but real practice is lost. 
only Jonah Bahar. The Jonah is minority. It's not a big like Neoma, big like uh, uh, They are small. They didn't even come to the uh, uh, outside Tibet when Chinese occupied. They just stay in Tibet. So, so then in the edges, then Chinese government allowed to practice. Then they start practice. So the journal was almost nobody come out. So I'm the only person almost, uh, I can say, almost nobody. I, that's why I, I show them practice. Everybody show the whole part I book, write book and practice, show them and practice. Because practice is not like uh, you just intellectually understand. That's not enough. Huh? Is you attend the ceremony, that's not enough. You have to have um, uh, experiential practice, uh, real transmission from your teacher, then you have to go uh, transmit. So that's why that part of the people know. So that's why no matter who gave a Galatara environment in, uh, ceremony in the West, nobody needed to practice. Nobody. Do you know anybody leading practice? Uh, well, I mean, I studied some with the Kalukpas at Columbia University, like Bob Thurman, and uh, yeah, but that's intellectual study. Well, no, but I mean, but they, well, yes, but they also have a retreat next to the Rizal Bancha for the people who got the environment, and they leave a retreat at this Menla Center in Ashit, New York. So uh, those are a few people who do, you know, continue the practice. Yeah, but I, uh, the, uh, the retreat, those things probably, uh, I don't know what they practice. Huh? Huh? And then, generation practice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, generation practice. Yeah, I forgot. Generation practice. Maybe, maybe they have some guilt, but had generation practice. Generation means the visualization, visualization practice. Maybe they had some. Uh, but the, the main practice is the compilation practice, you know, the six yoga. That's definitely That's nobody has. Hand, right? Yeah. Just... Nobody has. Only John. Yeah. <laughs> So if somebody really wanted to learn from a chakra, they'd have to go to Tibet most likely, or? Yeah, yeah. yes, you have to go to bed, but also they don't teach if you're the mom. <laughs> <laughs> really, there's no, huh? there's no Nagpa for a chakra? I teach only, I'm the only person who willing to teach in their people. Nobody else. <laughs> Nobody else, you have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> So the traditional people also very narrow-minded, you know, like you understand. So they think, oh, only we have to be monk. But the, the real reason doesn't have to be monk, because this is Trantrayana, why have to be monk, you know? It's, but they, they think like that. Is there Nyantro system for the Kalashaka? Huh? Nyantro, the preliminary. <laughs> oh, or Nyantro? Yeah, Nyantro, but probably uh, maybe Maybe they're okay, but after the model, they don't have their teaching. Oh, they're saying with color chakra, there is a yantra also. Yes. Yeah, mundo, yes, of course. Mundo, mundo is the beginning, so mundo uh, can be cut to anybody, mostly, but yeah. <laughs> huh? Where do you teach? Where I teach? Yeah. I teach you. Uh, <laughs> Where I teach you. Oh, you said. Because I travel a lot, many few years, you know, now last six years, I six seven years, I travel a lot, and then I exhausted, uh, so now um, try to teach, uh, and uh, my plan, I teach more in online, because it's it's too much. Too much trouble, so the online is not good. So uh, mostly in future, <laughs> teach more online, less trouble. You have a lot of students <laughs> post to mastering it. Hmm? Uh, you have students who are supposed to become mastery. <coughs> mastery or what? Well, I don't know. Well, of the common chakra where you can say that then they can teach you. No. No. <laughs> I heard the Dalai Lama also said that he gives it to like 100,000 people, and he says maybe like 10 of you will practice, and maybe one or two will master. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 
mastery is not easy. You know, if, uh, I'm always say if you <coughs> mastery of the first yoga, that's a huge achievement. You know, even the first yoga, that's a huge achievement. Focus. I was like conscious to be about the Kamal Chakra since I don't have an environment, but are the six yogas similar to the six yogas of Naropa? Like, no, is it different? Yeah. Very different. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How, how, I mean, I would imagine. Pretty sure is the how adversity affects this. Has all this been in Tibet by the political Russian practice by the Chinese? Hmm? Uh, he's wondering how affected they are in their practice by the Chinese in Tibet. Like through the politics, political issues. Oh, you mean in the past or no? No. Now, in the past. But you could talk in either, in either, whichever you feel is appropriate. No, I think no. If you just practice religion highly, yeah, you are individually yourself, no, no, no problem. But if you do many activities, you have problems. <laughs> <laughs> limited, limited, it's very limited. So yeah. teaching is difficult. Huh? Teaching. Yeah, the if you want to teach the Chinese people and go to China, this is a uh, uh, very restricted now. Yeah, and, and even monastery, uh, no more, more, more restricted, more, more restricted. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, is this practice in Dharamsala? Because I know Dharamsala is a big Tibetan center in India. Yeah. Dharamsala? Mm. In India? Yeah, Dharamsala also, I don't know. It's a little bit distracted place, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Politics and many things, and people comes and goes. Some people call it airport, you know, airport. <laughs> huh? like airport. Yeah? Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. It's not a place. <laughs> right, right. But it's of course you can find some 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 interesting things and study and, and any shit there definitely. But deep deep practice, not sure. <laughs> How independent you talked about? I mean, there was a rebirth and comes uh, the old age of death. So, what, what does it exactly mean? Oh, interesting. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, <clears throat> that's a good question. Uh, we have ignorance, means uh, we have ignorance, means uh, <coughs> we. <laughs> we know many, many things about the life, but we don't know beyond life, right? Uh, we are called ignorance. Huh? So, uh, for instance, we don't know what, even what happened tomorrow. We don't really know. We have, a, we have some kind of idea, but it's uh, we don't. Nobody knows. So that is ignorance, you know. So uh, when we are not, we have that ignorance. Then we everything we do also. Uh, we think, oh, we do this, then this happened. If we do this, this happened, but it's uh, it's not really. Uh, we don't know every action, what is impacting in a certain level. So that's why it, the world uh, formed, okay? Uh, so that's why I say formation means that this, uh, our actions formed our existence, okay? So that's it. Then, but the, the existence, where is it? You know, like we did something and then finished where they are. You know that, okay, let's say you angry some, with somebody, then finished. So where's the impact? The impact in your mind. Mind means it's not obvious level you all the time angry, but there is propensity you imprinted in your mind at a certain level. That's, that's never go. Enter, until ripen it, like, like become a seed. Like, you know, when we uh, uh, plant flower and the flower died in autumn, but the seed, uh, the seed uh, go to the uh, ground. So like that, they, uh, they never always have seed. Uh, every flower has, every plant have seed. The seed go underground. So similarly, every our action, good action, bad action, everything here, 
there is plenty in the mind, the consciousness. So the consciousness is not physical, it's not tangible, it's not big. So you can't destroy it, you can't destroy it. So then when you see people die, it doesn't matter, doesn't die, it's just disconnected with, the, with the, this consciousness and this temporary body, we call it die, but it's, a, it's a continu uh, consciousness uh, continuously going. So continuous and going, then you form the something else, you reborn. Either you are born animal or you know human or god, god or demi god or whatever. And then then you form again, name the form. It's formed again and named again. You exist again in the obvious level, right? Not just invisible, then you are so like that. Then you have six senses, uh, you know. So when you have six senses, then you you can engage it, the objects. When you have this, then you have feeling, then you have feeling, then you have make another karma. <laughs> another karma. I'm not saying all bad karma, okay? Good karma, bad karma, all you make it. You never stop in making karma. You never experience in, uh, something. You know, ever we ne never ex uh, stop in experience, right? Why? Because we made countless karma that we already made. That's why we can experience. But at the same time, we make it all the time, I can spend it. So, so that's why, uh, so yeah, uh, contact, sensation, and feeling, craving. Craving, uh, you know, like craving, and we, we uh, everything we like, not like, dislike, uh, version, uh, attraction, all of them, they make karma. So, and then grasping and craving, grasping means you make more, more and then make, make more solid. Solid make uh, definitely have result. This then, that, that's why you have guaranteed rebirth. Uh, <laughs> guaranteed rebirth, reincarnate, guaranteed. And then and once, once you have guaranteed rebirth, then you have guaranteed, guaranteed uh, uh, old age and, and the dead. So then you rebirth again. Uh, so everything. Everything is the circle again, 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 again. So until we know how we, uh, how we, uh, we are uh, out of this uh, game, or out of this uh, trick, uh, until then we just continue. But uh, continue means uh, they're not necessarily bad. But uh, if we are aware of more uh, bad actions, bad thoughts, everything. And we train ourselves with more pure, pure. Then we are uh, our rebirth and everything become a better and better, higher, 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 higher. But if we just no nothing, just don't care, make the same mistake again, 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 never stop. Then we just repeat this. <laughs> so then we then we don't know what happened. So you know what happened. We don't know, and then we don't remember where I've been, everything up to date, then kind of big shock. You know, uh, if you have burned damage, then you don't remember things, right? Uh, similarly, if something death happens, then we don't remember. But actually, you, you know, we are continuing. <laughs> yeah. And how does karma come with you in the next life? Is, is it formless or, or you know, through explanation? I was wondering. Of course, formless. Consciousness. Yeah. Consciousness. And, and consciousness, you know, consciousness. So the uh, karma is imprinted in your consciousness. Yes, yeah, consciousness. So then this, uh, they are to rock in and become obvious level, you need other, other karmas to contribute and then uh, you experience. Until then, they're like seed. So we have computer chips, we have many things invisible, then you put the kind of computer and run conditions and click, then boom, a big, a big thing appear, right? <laughs> then you have printed then even bigger on a hard copy, huh? everything. So same, same thing. So, so until then, uh, visible, invisible with you all the time. Does it go if you become an animal? You're huh? saying you could, you could become, uh, reincarnate as an animal. You so that consciousness is still the animals. Yeah, can be can be animal because you you know you have so many different karmas, so many you have trillions. Okay? Imagine you have trillions of karmas, then which one they can't rock at the same time? They have to rock, rock and continue, continue, right? 
the big ones, big ones revert, you know, project to the rebirth. So the rebirth ones, they, they uh, Q in, they have to be Q. But once they make Q also, there's different reasons. So if, if the animal one is first, then you rebirth animal, next one. And then your animal die, maybe not again animal, and something else come first, and then you rebirth that one. <laughs> this time, this time we are human first, you know. We don't know uh, real life we are human or animal or something else. We don't know. Huh? <laughs> one way lucky, but it's a uh, human. The human is uh, dangerous because one way you can be very lucky because you have human intelligence. If you use the right way, you have uh, more capacity than animal. But if you use the wrong way, then you are you make worse than animal. Huh? You make you make war, you make uh, kill many, many people. Uh, you know, animals can be kind of this, you know, not all animals, right? <laughs> so, yeah, human, remember that is, uh, if you check very well, then it's uh, vicious. If you not check well, then it's dangerous. Yeah? Does this apply to any group? Huh? This, this formation can apply to any group. Yes, any bin, any bin, yeah. Any bit, animal, insect, etc. Anybody. But as a human being, have the opportunity to read the answers. Yes, yes. Only human being uh, can understand and laugh me if you are lucky. Yeah. And if you pay attention, if you prioritize that practice. <laughs> but the other ones, uh, even you say they don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Say if somebody wanted to learn a college chapter, what would be like the first step or the first step? Or first step? Uh, oh, yes, in practicing. Uh, uh, different people. You know, uh, some people under need to understand the intellectual. Uh, so you have to read the book, you have to read the whole part. It, it's, oh, no big sense. Oh, wow, 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 wow. When you read it, read it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's that's so interesting. Oh, that's perfect. Blah, blah, blah. Huh? Some people don't be bothered to read this and I just, I just believe and what I, what I have to do. Huh? Different people. So the text is not restricted. Like you don't need the empowerment to read the text? No. Oh, okay. No, I mean, some. <laughs> no. The restricted ones has only come to the uh, school. Yeah. That time you, you get only the empowerment book, empowerment, your empowerment, you get only one uh, book for yourself, nobody else you can share yourself. And then after that, uh, every book is uh, only for you, you can't share anybody. Until then, I have many, many books, all of them you can read. You can read, you make understanding that the uh, Dharma in general, and then you see what is different with the Kalachara, how the superior, everything I understand. Yeah. What's your favorite of your own books? <laughs> huh? Well, which one is the best book? Which one do you think is which is your favorite? Your favorite. Yeah. You're asking what's your favorite book and what's your favorite? <laughs> I have no favorite because <clears throat> I know wrote for me, you know. Yeah. I wrote for everybody. So <laughs> So the books, uh, uh, you know, like we have this ocean of diversity. Uh, this is only uh, the uh, uh, good for uh, uh, mainly for uh, uh, Tibetans uh, because Tibetans don't have that source. The whole universe, the religions, they don't have that source. So I wrote that for Tibetans. But uh, I think there are some uh, Westerners they really like this because they then they just a few days you read the then you understand what what tradition differences, then they have a sense of, oh, which one I like to choose. That's the that, that's only reason, no, no more. And then these this three books, Unveiling Your Second Truth, is the real path. How you begin from the scratch to go to the ready for cultural empowerment. And so then you have everything, everything in general, general Buddhism and the cultural. Everything is very, very clear. Yeah. Yeah. 
So uh, then there, there's another book we have, we don't have yet, so, so, but it's Shambhala book. Shambhala explains Shambhala. Shambhala is a pure land that uh, Kalachagra uh, originate uh, to Shambhala. And then Kalachagra Tantra practiced in Shambhala and Shambhala transformed in Karibo. That's why the Shambhala has a mission to liberate our earth, our humanity, to train to the golden age. So that book I have as well. Yeah, that's make understanding the Shambhala and Kalachagra, this relationship with the golden age, distance understanding. So this and the ocean of diversity also, I talk about peace and harmony, how to be unbiased, you know, religiously unbiased and, uh, you know, all unbiased because of the bias makes the this harmony, right? So this is I talk about here and I talk about in this Shambhala book as well. Yeah, so these three books is the, I think uh, anybody can read, anybody is, the only thing, sometimes I joke to say, the only thing I can guarantee is no regret. <laughs> if you read it, right? <laughs> That's I can guarantee. Yeah. Because uh, they can't quite uh, read them. They're like out of focus. They're like, you're in focus, but the slides are really dark. Thank you again, everyone. And again, thank you for coming.